In 2017, the Montana legislature cut $200 million in state and matching federal dollars from the Department of Public Health budget. This took a big chunk out of the community-based case management in the state, which was a big part of Montana's mental health infrastructure for decades. It really went bad since about 2017, where our, our state-funded mental health system is just really in shambles. And while we can agree or disagree about how to rebuild it, both sides appear to really agree that we need to. Kuntz says communities lost case management for people with mental illness, and as the state's mental health infrastructure crumbled, their clients crumbled along with it. I was reporting on some of the immediate fallout. Mental health providers predicted the problems we're now seeing just a few years later. I've got people going into crisis, people calling me up, freaking out. How am I going to get to the doctor? How am I going to get to this? How am I? Next month I have, you know, cataract surgery. I can't, you know. I don't know who's going to do that. I don't know what to tell them. Feeling like they have been left to the wayside. And, um, you know, in a lot of ways they, they have. And it's, it's really heartbreaking to see that every day. And when you take that away from people, inevitably uh, you create chaos in the system. And I think these cuts have done that. Over time, rural mental health services dwindled. Mental health providers cut services. The number of people in crisis spiked, and so did the cost to the state. Mary Windecker was at Western Montana Mental Health Center several years ago and anticipated what we're seeing now. Putting people into a higher level of care, either the Montana State Hospital System or the detention facilities, facilities is much more expensive. So it's going to cost the state much more in the long run than people living individually in their communities. Windecker is now the head of the Behavioral Health Alliance of Montana. If there is a silver lining to this cloud, it is that it, it can no longer be ignored. The impacts in every single community, in every single sector of the community, um, everywhere across the board, mental health and substance use disorder was right out there for everybody to see. Now the Montana legislature is weighing multiple big ticket proposals. One of them brought by Republican Representative Bob Keenan of Big Fork. He's tasked with creating a measure to spend 300 million earmarked by Governor Greg Gianforte in the state budget proposal to fund behavioral health. You know, $300 million to the taxpayer sounds like a big chunk of money. Um, talk about what it looks like to establish a continuum of care and what rebuilding an entire system means and looks like. $300 million is an absolute, it's a lot of money. What we've really tried to do is put those guardrails on it so that we are, we can show the legislature and the people of the state of Montana that this is an honest, true commitment for the future. In Billings, Augusta McDonnell, MTN News.